Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 1. Then Moab rebelled against Yashara'el after the death of Achav, and Ahaz Yahu fell down through a lattice in his upper chamber that was in Shomoron and was sick. And he sent messengers and said unto them, Go inquire of Baal Zebub, the Elohim of Ekran, whether I shall recover of this disease. But the angel of Yahuwah said to Eliyahu the Tishbi, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Shomoron, and say unto them, Is it not because there is not an Elohim in Ashasharael that ye go to inquire of Baal Zebub, the Elohai of Ekran? Now therefore thus says Yahuwah, You shall not come down from that bed on which you are gone up, but shall surely die. And Eliyahu departed. And when the messengers turned back unto him, he said unto them, Why are ye now turned back? And they said unto him, There came a man up to meet us, and said unto us, Go, turn again unto the king that sent you. And say unto him, Thus says Yahuwah, Is it not because there is not an Elohim in Yashadael that you send to inquire of Baal Zebub, the Elohai of Ekran? Therefore you shall not come down from that bed on which you are gone up, but shall surely die. And he said unto them, What manner of man was he which came up to meet you, and told you at these words. And they answered him, He was a hairy man, and girt with a belt of leather about his loins. And he said, It is Eliyahu, the Tishbi. Then the king sent unto him a captain of fifty with his fifty. And he went up to him, and behold, he sat on the top of a hill. And he spoke unto him, Man of Elohim, The king has said, Come down. And Eliyahu answered and said to the captain of fifty, If I be a man of Elohim, then let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your fifty. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. And again he, rather, rather, again also, he sent unto him another captain of fifty with his fifty, And he answered and said unto him, O man of Elohim, thus has the king said, Come down quickly. And Eliyahu answered and said unto them, If I be a man of Elohim, let fire come down from heaven and consume you and at your fifty. And the fire of Elohim came down from heaven and consumed him and at his fifty. And he sent again a captain of the third, Fifty with his fifty. And the third captain of fifty went up and came and fell on his knees before Eliyahu and besought him and said unto him, O man of Elohim, I pray you, let my life and the life of these fifty your servants be precious in your sight. Behold, there came fire down from heaven and burnt up at the two captains of the former fifties with eth their fifties. Therefore, let my life now be precious in your sight. And the angel of Yahuwah said unto Eliyahu, Go down with him, be not afraid of him. And he arose and went down with him unto the king. And he said unto him, Thus says Yahu, rather, Yahuwah, for as much as you have sent messengers to inquire of Baal Zebub, the Elohai of Ekran, is it not because there is no Elohim in Yashara'el to inquire of his word? Therefore you shall not come down off that bed on which you are gone up, but shall surely die. So he died according to the word of Yahuwah, which Eliyahu had spoken, and Yahuram reigned in his stead in the second year of Yahram, 
the son of Yahushaphat, king of Yahuda, because he had no son. Now, the rest of the acts of Ahaz Yahu, which he did, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashadael?